Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Karen J. And today I'm gonna do a products I regret buying video. So just one disclaimer, just because these products didn't work for me doesn't mean they won't work for you. And also I am in no way bashing any of these brands. It just so happens that none of these products work for me. I still use other products from the same brand. So I'm not bashing anyone, just saying simply what products didn't work for me. So let's begin. Okay, so I split this, um, split the products into two groups, conditioners and stylers. So the first conditioner that I regret buying is the Tresemme Naturals. Tresemme Naturals. And I know you probably like, girl, but it's empty. It's empty because I probably used it on my weave. Because I bought it, so I needed to get rid of it. But like, when this, when I first heard of this, it was so hype. Like, everybody's like, Ooh, Crane, you need to try this. This works really, really good. So I'm like, ooh, I'm excited. I'm about to try this, you know? So then I bought it. And I'm excited, you know, detangling my hair. And it's just not going through. It's like it wouldn't really work unless my head was underneath the water the whole time I'm detangling. And I don't do that. I don't need to do that to detangle my hair. So then I was just like, I am over this. So sometime I used it on my hair. It worked fine once I had my head under the water the whole time. But like I said, I don't do that. So... I regret buying this. The second conditioner I regret buying is the Curl Perfection um, conditioner. And this one's empty too because I probably used it on some weave. But I used this a long time ago. I was maybe about seven months natural. I don't know. But even then, it was just weird. It didn't really, it didn't have no slip. Just like the Tresemme one. It didn't have no slip to me, so it was hard to detangle. That's mainly my problem with these conditioners. It didn't have no slip, and it didn't really moisturize my hair in any type of way. It felt dry. So just imagine a conditioner feeling dry, and it had no slip. Like, your hair just felt like straw. Like, it felt, it felt weird. So, I regret buying this. I think I have a shampoo with this one and some other stuff. Because it was like, buy one, get one free. It was like a um, sale, I think I write it. So, I'm like, oh, why not try it? You know, curls. Like, no, I don't think this for our type of curls. I don't know. But if y'all had this, if y'all have it and y'all use it, like, tell me how y'all like this. The next product I regret buying is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and my Fur Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. That is too long of a name, let me tell you. But anyway, um, this is a dry hair recipe and it's sulfate free and color safe. So, you know, it has no sulfates. I was, go ahead, let me tell you. I was going through this phase where I wanted to do the curly girl method, you know, no sulfates, no parabens, stuff like that. So that's why I tried the Tresemme Naturals. And that's why I tried this. I only bought this because I have the deep conditioner, right? I like the deep conditioner or the hair mask, whatever. I like it a lot. I'm like, oh, if this is good, let me try the conditioner, right? So I'm washing my hair just like the rest of these conditioners. It was the same thing. I could not really work it through my hair. And on top of that, it took a whole lot of pumps to get enough for one section of my hair. Mind y'all, my hair is not that thick. Although it may look like it, it's really not. So I don't really need that much conditioner when I am co-washing. But I'm just pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. And I had like, maybe like, I don't know how many pumps, but it was a lot and I was just over it. like. I feel like I'm not giving you guys good explanations on why I regret buying it, but it's just the fact that these just didn't work for me. They didn't have enough slip that I would like. They didn't really do anything for my hair. They didn't make it soft or anything. After I was done, after I was done like washing, it just felt kind of like stringy in a way. So I haven't used it ever since. So now the last conditioner that I regret buying is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask for dry and damaged hair. So I feel like since my hair porosity, I think it's low and normal. I don't know, I think it's low. I think I have low porosity hair. And also since my hair is kind of thin, it's kind of like limp, I don't use any type of butters or nothing like that on my hair because I feel like it'll weigh it down. Hence, I don't use shea butter. And I don't know why, I don't know why if that's the reason that this didn't work for me or maybe it's just because my hair doesn't, I think it is the reason why. I like Shea Moisture's hair mask and then, you know, the deep conditioners or whatever. So when I bought this, I was really excited. Then I tried it and it wasn't going through my hair at all. Even with water, you guys. It was just bad overall. I was finger detangling too. Oh yeah, with all these conditioners, I finger detangled and it was not going through. Even with water with this one, it was not going through at all. So I just didn't use it. No, it wasn't going through at all. So then 
like I rinsed it out, you know, and my hair felt it looked, felt dry and disgusting. I was just like, it did the opposite of what it was supposed to do, basically. It's for a dry and damaged hair, and I feel like it made my hair dry and damaged in the same thing, like. So yeah. Now we're on to the stylers. So the first product I regret buying is this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Style Milk. I bought this a super long time ago, maybe when I was about seven months natural. Just let me tell y'all, I'm not a product junkie. I don't really use many products and the ones, well clearly, most of these, the ones that I'm showing you are probably half of my collection. I really don't have that many products. I don't buy that many products. I just don't feel the need to because if something's not broke, then why try to fix it? So I regret buying this because I forgot what I used this for. I think I just used it um, just to, you know, I washed my hair one day and I didn't feel like styling it, but I still wanted, you know, some moisture or whatever in it. So I just applied this all over my head and probably like a second later, it was just dry. I'm not talking about like, oh, my hair is so dry. I mean, like it dried up and it was like, I put no product in there. It like, it disappeared low key. And I'm just like, where did it go? So I think I tried this for something else one day. I can't, really can't remember. All I know is that it never worked for me, which is why I completely stopped using it. And I regret buying that. So the next product I regret buying is the Giovanni Direct Leave-In Conditioner. Um, all right, this is hype too. Giovanni is hype in my opinion. But I mean, I'm sure they got a reason to be hype, you know, but probably just not this one in my opinion. And when I had my red hair, I did like an afro one day. That's all I use, you know, rake the through, whatever. So I'm, you know, shaking my afro. Then I look on my shoulders and I see a whole bunch of flakes. And I was like, I couldn't believe that it flaked on me. It was like, I've never seen a leave-in conditioner flake. It was a lot of flakes too. It was just like, you would think I used the gel or something. It just didn't mix. But I only used this and it flaked up very badly in my hair. So I'm gonna have to toss that too. The next product, oh uh, man y'all. The next product that really made me upset because y'all know I love me some Cantu. So this product is the Cantu Define and Shine Custard. <laughs> I bought this because I thought it was like a dupe for the Kinky Curly Custard. I did a wash and go. I did it with the coconut curling cream and with that, I didn't use a lot because I heard that a little goes a long way, right? Well, a little jellies. So I applied the coconut curling cream and I applied that and I did a wash and go and I think I let it air dry diffuse or I diffused it. Either way, my hair was dry. And you know, I'm playing around with it and it was crunchy. I don't care about that because so you could break the gel cast. But then I noticed I had like white flakes in my hair. And then I think I posted that on Instagram and everybody was like, yeah, that's what happened to me too with the flakes and stuff. And I'm like, bruh, like I thought this was going to be my holy grail thing, just like the coconut curling cream. But it was the complete opposite. And it's funny because that brings me to my next product that I regret buying, which is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. And... I'm really, I don't know about this. I think I regret buying it because I don't use it and it was like $22 I did not have at the time. But I was desperate because, you know, I've always wanted to try it. So I used this once for a wash and go. And I used this once for a wash and go. I let my hair air dry, whatever. It was defined the first day. Next day, try to refresh and it's like my hair had no definition and it had flakes in it. And you know, I guess with all jellies, a little bit goes a long way. So I didn't try to use that much. And for some reason, it had a whole bunch of flakes. But I really want to try with the Cam Camille Rose, um, the the milk. I forgot the name of it. But I really want to try those two together. So I may have to revisit this. I don't know. But then again, I'm not a defined wash and grow type of person. I feel like if you want to use this, your hair, like, it'll be super defined. I'm more of a... I don't like my hair super defined. Like I like a little afro, my you see this. I don't really care for my hair to be that defined. And I'm not really a big fan of wash and goes anymore. So what else can I use this for? Like, cause I wanna try it again. Cause I can't return it now and I'm not about to waste on $22. So I'm gonna use it somewhere, but although I'ma still try to use it, I really regret buying it brings me to my last product which is the curl enhancing smoothie okay this one I don't know I used this a while ago 
on my afro i did a wash and go with this and eco styler gel and it just seems like with this by itself it always gives a film it's like i don't have to use anything it just gives a film by itself and i don't think product is supposed to do that especially by themselves so it also takes a long time to dry it like it defines my hair really nicely and it keeps it very moisturized but the film is frustrating to me and also it's like when it does dry there's certain pieces that still have like the little clumps in there and i'm just like wait so i don't know about this one i haven't used it for like a twist out or anything like have y'all used it for a twist out or anything let me know i haven't y'all know me i stick to my coconut curling cream and now my favorite my other favorite product which is the Kimo rose um almond jai twisting butter oh i love it but this one I, the other day I used it for an afro, I used it by itself, my hair was very defined and very, 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 very moisturized. But then the next day, it was like all my mo all my definition was gone. So, I don't know. I feel like for the price, it's really not something I would keep repurchasing, especially when me having all these issues, you know? But I'm sure most of y'all, this y'all holy girl or whatever, like, you better go ahead if you want it. Let me know, but yeah, okay, yeah. So that concludes all the products that I regret buying. I hope this was a cool video for y'all because a lot of people wanted to see this one. I really hope you guys like it and let me know what you think down below in the comments. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.